So we're at the University Clinic Hospital in Bonn, Germany, and this is as far as we can go. 500 samples of the novel coronavirus are being tested right behind these glass doors. More are on the way. Just through these glass doors, to my left, there's a bag full of another 50 samples from people here in Bonn, Germany. Do they have it? Do they not? How would I know if I have it? We're going to go upstairs and talk to the head of this virology clinic and find out more. You should get tested if you're in an area that is affected by coronavirus and have symptoms such as sore throat, um, uh, a runny nose, or even like um, uh, respiratory uh, problems. Um, not everybody needs to be tested uh, because um, it takes a while, first of all, uh, that the virus is replicating and that we are able to detect uh, the virus. How it works is um, that a physician is taking a swab from the back of your throat and this is being sent to a virologist and with this we are able to determine whether there is genetic material of the new coronavirus. Well, the test works um, based on a PCR system, so that means um, that we are amplifying the genetic material of the coronavirus and trying to understand whether there's any hint, any DNA or RNA of this virus in your throat. This takes about, like the PCR testing takes about uh, four to five hours um, so because we have to first extract the genetic material and then amplify it and then of course um, uh, uh, look at the results and make further decision whether a secondary test, for example, might be necessary. Well, the data on the re reliability is uh, pretty weak so far, but we know that there can be in certain circumstances uh, false positive results, but at the same time there's evidence that there are false negative results which means that if you're tested positive, you're most likely positive because we're doing a secondary test. But if you're tested negative, it does not exclude that you don't have the virus already in you, but we just can't detect it at the moment. Well, pretty much mo all of the tests are uh, using the same system. They're Minor differences in there, some seem to be a little bit more sensitive, some seem to be a little bit more, um, uh, le seem to be less uh, uh, sensitive but faster. Um, but overall, the principle of the test is worldwide the same. The test cannot detect a previous coronavirus infection. Um, they are uh, four different or now five different endemic coronaviruses that are um, currently circulating. Um, we cannot say if somebody had another coronavirus infection previously. Uh, we don't have any tests for that yet. Only the institutes that are actually uh, specialized on understanding those viruses are currently able to do good uh, diagnostic on um, the new coronavirus.